Alright, so we're in the wrong color booth with... I'm just gonna show the spelling here. And I didn't get you to say your own name. It's pronounced Urs Rechio. Okay, Urs Rechio. Yes. Okay, it's my, yeah, closest, okay. my closest yeah, pronunciation. You're very close, yes. Okay, uh, I guess Urs, who I for some reason haven't met yet, has been working with Broncolor for the last 14 years and the last eight photo keynotes. That's right, yes. He's going to show me a couple of the new products this year, uh, including the, the Move 1200L. So, uh, yeah, tell me about this. This is a this is a battery pack. It's a battery operated pack. Yes. Okay. Well, well, let's start with the battery. Okay. It's it's down here. It's a lithium battery. Um, it's very easily interchangeable. Just pull up here. Whoop, battery pops out. Okay. And uh, very easy. Put a new one in. Now, is this battery used in any other Broncolor products? Or is no, it no. Okay. It's only only for the Move. Okay. It's uh, newly designed for the Move only. And then uh, I'm seeing this in the name 1200, so is it 1200 watt second pack? It's uh, 1200 watt seconds, yes. Okay. And then how many full power flashes from one charge? Um, depends. Uh, you have here the choice if you want to work on echo mode on or echo mode off. Off, it's recycling a little faster and you get 170 flashes out of one battery charge. Okay. If you don't have to shoot very, very fast, but you want to have more flashes, you switch on echo, then you have 230 flashes okay. out of one battery charge. And then at full recycle speed, now what is full recycle speed? A full recycle speed is at full power two seconds. Two seconds. Just below two seconds, 1.9 seconds at, at full power. And then as soon as you go down with the power, maybe at nine, it's, it's around one second. Okay. And then it's, it's getting very fast, uh, quicker and quicker and quicker. So it scales linearly as you go? More or less, yes. Okay, you see. can help it a little bit, actually. If you press the speed button, okay. you um, get a shorter flash duration and a shorter recycling time okay. because we charge the capacitors differently. Okay. The price you pay for this is the full power. So uh, you can't go up to 10 anymore. Let's say if I do this here. So the, the maximum power is limited to 600 joules. Okay, that's okay. still a lot of power though. It's still a lot of power, enough for most uses, but then we have uh, unbelievable short flash durations. Okay, so I'm just gonna show yeah, what it shows over here. Huh? <laughs> That's, so that's always the, the display, even on, on 7.5, which is just two and a half f-stops below max power, we have already almost a five thousand of a second flash duration. Right. Very this, is, this is T... Exactly. One. That's T01. Oh, this is all T01? That's T01, yes. T05 <laughs> would be a, a lot faster. Let's right. say if you want to compare T05, which does not really make sense, but we are at T05, we are somewhere around the 20,000 of a second. So this is easily the shortest flash duration battery pack available? Or um, there, there are different like opinions in different countries, you know. Okay. Um, we think it's the fastest okay. because it's uh, T05 is just one, it's just the brightest peak out of the flash discharging curve. Yes. But you're shooting with all the light, you're shooting with the light before T05 and the light after T05. So you should take into consideration T01, which is all the light, because that's the light you shoot with. Right. And we give you the effective value of T01. And if I have here a T01 of a 5,000 of a second, my exposure time is a 5,000 of a second, and there's not, not some more light coming afterwards. Right. So, so uh, no. why do you have a TO or a TO5 number to as well, or you guys just don't? Uh, we give it as well. Okay. We give it as well, but it doesn't really make sense because you can't compare TO5 and TO5 because it's you get different values depending on the technology you use inside the packs. And you're engineered for like I guess, real usable flash duration as opposed to that number. We want to give you the, the important information. We don't want to give you a fantasy number which sounds good but is useless. Right. We give you the real time. How long is the flash on? And this you get only with TO1. Okay, excellent. Uh, I guess, and again, it's fully asymmetric, two channels. It's fully as uh, asymmetrical, yes, uh, two channels. Um, and the entire power range, we have 10 f stops of power, uh, no, wrong. We have eight f stops of power range, okay. and the same eight f stops are usable for asymmetry as well. Okay. So the, we just, uh, even when it's on, you just unplug it very simply. It's all a little tight here. If I put it back in, tuck. So I can have light number one. Nine point nine. 
light number two goes down to two. So I have, this is 1,120 joules on either number one, and only four joules on the second one. So this is really by far enough for all uses. Eh? I have eight f-stops difference. So the entire power range is accessible as well for as a medical use. Right. And then I guess what heads are like I see you have the brown color Movo LED head. Yes, exactly. Which looks like the sensor head. Which looks like a sensor head, yes, but it's a mobile LED. Okay. Uh, LED, it's LED modeling light, okay. which is daylight balanced. Okay. So if you want to shoot uh, a short sequence, uh, a movie sequence, a video sequence, right. you can actually move the light. Okay. Now it's daylight balanced, but is it also daylight spectrum? It's uh, no, it's it's uh, it's LED, so it's not a daylight so it's spectrum. Not, it's not it's, very, no, it's not quite full. No, it's it's a mixture of different um, uh, of different LEDs yes. that give you uh, the best possible uh, color close to daylight. But it is still LED. Okay. It's it's definitely not like HMI, which is a, a hot flash, a hot light, yes. or or flash as well, which is very very close to uh, to sunlight to daylight. It is still LED, but uh, balance as good as possible. Okay. Um, what do you? And then, what heads can you use with this pack? You can use all the heads. All the Everything heads. you see here, you can connect them. Litos is an exception. Litos not yet. We are working on it. Litos will be compatible. But everything else, from Pico light, all the fancy light shapers, all the uh, special effect lights, the, the normal lamp heads, everything is uh, can be connected to the move, but no modeling light. Okay. Uh, modeling light you have only with the, the specialized lamp heads okay. that are designed for this voltage of the modeling light. But everything flashes, but you don't get modeling light. Excellent. Okay. Um, now, I think um, you said that there's a new para. There's a new para, yes. You want to show me the para? I can show you the para, the small one, yeah. Easy. Yes, exactly. 88 is the diameter. It's a different system. It's actually not an umbrella anymore. So it's a complete, uh, it's actually a reflector. It doesn't have the typical umbrella sticks. Oh, okay. This and uh, yeah. the mounting as well makes it a lot, lot easier to mount it. Now it's used just as a reflector. So I simply take it away from the lamp head. It's nothing else than a reflector. If you want to collapse it, you just open these two. Oh wow! That's it. Huh? Very simple. Okay. And to, to set it up again, you pre-open a little bit and like this. That's it. Very simple and fast. Are you guys going to be uh, adding the system to like any of the bigger sizes, or anything going to be revised? Or um, we have the same system on the bigger sizes as well. You can see it over here. As well, no sticks. But of course, the bigger umbrellas, like this is the Para 177, it's, it's too large to have this system. Okay. The, the arms are too small, the arms are too short. Eh? So that's why we have the same system, but with this handle back here. So you just, instead of doing this, you just turn it. Right. Oh. But the, the, the rest is the same. And then if you want to use it as a, let's say, as an adult Para, not just as a reflector, you get additionally this um, defocusing device right. has here the, the bayonet. Yes. Put it on, and that's it. You put the lamp head from the front, and then you can easily focus, defocus it the way you want. Huh? It's hilarious in video. I understand. All right. Anyway, um, so what about these accessories here? Adapters. Uh, the flash adapter is mounted here. The normal bayonet. Okay. Sorry, I'm a little chaotic. Huh? Oh, that's good. The, the flash adapter is here, but the same system works as well for Broncolor HMI. Okay. Um, with the, the same adapter and uh, it's heat resistant. And now for Photokina, we have new as well um, the Pro Photo adapter. Huh. 
So it's the same mounting on this side. You can put it in the small, in the Power 88 as well, in the big ones. And it's just the, it's the normal classic mounting of the Profoto heads. Okay. So you can use this as well. Okay, so and I guess then only, so the only non color brand adapter available through color is Profoto. In the moment, yes, but uh, we're working on it. Oh, okay. So no, that's good to hear, I guess. Excellent. Uh, anyway, thank you, Urs. Yes, perfect. Okay, yeah. Thank you.